Hey guys, I'm going to talk about an app here that at first glance may not seem to make a lot of sense. And it's an app that again is free, it's open source. It's called Plume Creator. And it's an app for novelists. It's an app that's designed for people who are going to write like books. But it's incredibly helpful for you if you're writing series blogs or if you're writing a web story and you want to have multi-chapters. This is just a really handy tool that you can use to sort of structure your writing out and keep track of what you've written about, what you haven't written about. It's really helpful if you have a website or if you have a blog or you have basically any written content online and you want to keep the pieces and parts together so that they all line up. I use it for doing blogging, and I find it to be an incredibly helpful tool. I'm going to show you the website. You can go to plume-creator.eu and get a copy. It's for Windows and Linux only. There is no Mac version, unfortunately, at least not here. You may be able to find a version online somewhere. I don't know. Um, but let me just show you what this app actually functions like. Okay, so here we have Plume Creator up. It's going to boot to a prompt, you know, open to a prompt where it has, you know, your start center. And you hit, you know, recent projects. Let's hit a new one, right? I'm going to call this new project blog, you know, blog cooking, for example. Right? I'm going to hit next. And then what is it? Is it a short story, short novel, novel? Let's just click on novel, right, and hit finish. Now, what's going to come up here is there's a screen where I can add my chapters, right? I can go in here and I can go to book. I can right click and I can go add chapter and I can go up there and I can add chapter, chapter, chapter. And each one of these chapters, I can pull up and start writing. So, for example, if I were doing a blog on cooking, right, and I'm talking about, you know, just being able to edit right on my computer, this chapter right here might be, you know, we'll just go up here, we'll rename it. And this one might be utensils, right? Something like that. The next one might be recipe one, or, you know, you could have this be, you know, chicken piccata, right? And what you can do is you can have all of your different posts uh, structured together inside of this. So it makes it very, very easy to organize your writing when you're doing something that you're going to roll out or release over time. So what I do with it is, I'll have, you know, say that I'm doing a blog and I'm going to have 50 posts in the blog or 100, and I don't know how many I have. It's, it's indefinite. I'll do all of my writing for my posts right inside of here, and then I'll just go and copy and paste it out, and I have it all organized so I make sure that my posts over time make sense. Yes, you could do the same exact thing with basically any, you know, app. You could do it with Word. You could do it with a lot of different apps, but for me, it's just incredibly handy. It's not a tool that's like mandatory. It isn't some tool that you desperately need to get. But if you're doing written content, this is a way that right there on your computer, you can you know have everything organized really in a structured way that allows you to keep track of content over time as you're doing lots of postings and you're putting a lot of content out there. Again, this is just another handy little tool. You can go and get yourself a copy. If you like it, you like it. If not, you don't have to use it. And it's completely free, plume-creator.eu. Great website. Check it out. If you like this vid and you want more quick tips from Rocket Driver, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Ring that bell to get a notification whenever we drop new content. And if you want to learn more about Rocket Driver, visit us online at rocketdriver.com. I'll see you in the next vid.